Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Jackson Community Church. This is our real 4th of July celebration. Um, here we are on a Sunday, Independence Day, 2021. How did we think we'd get here with real independence for a lot of us? Thank you. Thank you, God. <laughs> um, as you probably know, Reverend Gail is on a much deserved vacation rest. She's been visiting family and Sandy, I think, out in Ohio. Um, she will be back this week. But meanwhile, you have some of the deacons who are conducting the service this morning. Um, I'm Meg Phillips, and I'm joined by Wendy McVeigh and Sue Kerrigan. And Sandy Lewis is the wizard behind the screen, actually on the screen, who is doing all the major technical work. Without that, we would be totally lost. So thank you, Sandy. I want to remind you that this is a communion Sunday. So if you haven't already gotten your bread or cracker and your wine or whatever beverage you want to have for communion time, um, feel free to get that at any time. Communion will be much later in the service. First, we start as usual with announcements. Um, my first announcement was about a communion Sunday. The second announcement is about the uh, golf tournament that has been rescheduled. It was going to be in June. Now it is scheduled for Tuesday, August 17th. We really need everyone and the church to help us find more people to participate by golfing. And then we will need some volunteers on that Tuesday also. Um, you can speak to members of the choir about that. Uh, the early morning Sunday gatherings have not taken place in Gail's absence. And um, C3, our Friday night Bible study, hasn't taken place. And I'm sure that Gail will be sending out an announcement as to whether that's going to start this Friday or the next. But I'm sure that when she's back midweek, we'll get that announcement for, for the gathering. Does anyone else have announcements this morning that you want to share with us all? Please unmute. No, no announcements. Okay, okay. Then, as Gail would say, put your feet firmly on the ground. It is time to center yourself and be ready for our worship today. Sandy is going to play music to Sent for us to center by, and that will be
please join me in the call to worship. You'll find the words on your screen. Today, may we celebrate the gifts of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness by offering our thanks and prayers to God, the giver of all good gifts. We thank you, Lord. For those travelers who risk the journey to make their homes in this country, and for the first peoples, tribes, and nations who have inhabited this land for generation upon generation. We thank you, we Lord. We thank you, Lord. For people who dreamed of and worked for a free nation. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the folks who founded our democracy, pledged liberty and justice for all, and for all those who strive to become full participants in this bold promise. We thank, we you, thank Lord. you, Lord. For those who built this country and for those who will inherit and become stewards of the world we have created. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For those who have served our country, including those who have paid the greatest sacrifice. We, we thank, thank you, you Lord. Lord. For the innovators and artists, poets and teachers, farmers and factory workers, for all who labor and provide for the common good. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. you, Lord. For this land with its peaks and valleys, coasts and deserts, fields and meadows. We thank you, thank Lord. Thank you, Lord. For our own community, for those who came before us in this place, and for our neighbors near and far. Thank you. We Lord. thank you, Lord. Lord, may we always be a nation which nurtures liberty and freedom, truth and justice, and with the courage to acknowledge the ways we have fall short of our ideals and must strive to change our ways so that these values are available to all people. We pray, we pray to, you, Lord. to you, Lord. That we might kindle and tend the beacon of freedom for all people in our nation and around the world, especially those who live with oppression, hopelessness, and injustice. We, we pray, pray to you, Lord. Lord. For those who are elected to govern and lead, would be guided by you and be ever aware of the trust that has been given them. We pray, we pray to, you, to Lord. you, Lord. That we would be a people who repent and return to you and to your grace. We pray to you, pray Lord. To you, Lord. Gracious God. Gracious God. Wellspring, wellspring, wellspring of, of all, all nations. Bless, bless our, our land. Our land. Send, our Send spirit your spirit to strengthen, to strengthen in us, in us your, gifts, your gifts so that so our, that lives, our become lives become offerings, offerings of thanks and, and service, of service to you. To you. Freed, Freed, Freed to, your to be people, your people by the love, by the love of the redeeming Christ. Amen. 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 Now is the time when we share our concerns um, the prayers that we feel comfortable saying out loud together. Some you may not want to share out loud, but know that we will be praying with you with, for what is in your heart. Um, does anyone have prayers that they want to raise? Please unmute and share with us prayers of concern. Sue? Yes, I'd like to say a prayer for our little friend Mary, who will be going through a very serious procedure this week. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I'd like to pray for uh, a friend, April, whose mother died uh, in a car accident this week. Um, oh. Whether a death is a slow, slow thing or very quickly, it is a shocking change to your life. And uh, I pray for April and her family that they can get through all of this well. Oh. Wendy? Uh, yes, I'd like to say a prayer for my younger brother, Bill, who's going to be undergoing a heart um, surgery this week on Tuesday. So, 
for Bill and, and other people going through medical procedures, um, serious and not serious. They're all serious to the individual involved. Uh -huh. um, we pray for Bill. Anyone else, please unmute and raise your, and uh, just speak out. Um, just prayers for just changes at work. Just hopefully that they'll turn out good and not bad. <laughs> Praying, praying for good transitions. <laughs> transitions. Good and bad transitions are difficult. So praying for transitions. Is there anyone else who would like us to pray for a concern of yours? Um, as we've said before, we are the body of Christ. And just bringing prayers into everyone's presence, really, I think it makes a difference to the individual asking for the prayers and the individual who, who needs the prayers said for him or her. So. Thanks everybody. And now we're asking for any celebrations and words of gratitude that you wanna share with the congregation this morning. Feel free to unmute. Sue. Well, I'm very thankful that my Cardinal comes every morning and about 6.30 and comes for his breakfast. I am just over the top excited to see him every day. He is gorgeous. And I, I, that makes me think of my um, exciting birds. We have, we have a suet feeder on our kitchen window. So it's really just behind the kitchen sink, high enough that the bears can't get it. And we heard a strange sound a couple mornings ago. And there was a, a nice, big, hairy woodpecker Mr. and Mrs. were both there on two sides of the suet cake, and he was eating the suet, and picking the suet and feeding it to Mrs. Car Mrs. Uh, Woodpecker. And you could hear her making these little coos, and he kept taking a piece and feeding it right into her mouth. I've never seen such a thing. And oh. to be right two feet away at my kitchen window was pretty amazing. So we were grateful for that one. <laughs> oh, how Didn't film it, but boy, it was a, it was a once yeah. in a lifetime experience. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Actually, we I, had, speaking of birds, um, we had our resident blue jays come by for their pit peanuts this morning. So <laughs> it's really neat to hear them talking and just, and then they come down and they're they're picky about what peanut they want too. So, um, but I'm also very just blessed and thankful to have family nearby that we can just get together and do stuff. It's just, it's been a real blessing to me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I think we're all experiencing um, with great joy this is the reunions we're able to have, the community fireworks, traveling to see family, um, having family be close. Yeah, it's been it's getting to be a wonderful Independence Day for all of us. I think mm -hmm. Independent time. Is there anyone else who has a a celebration to share? Okay, then please. Um, Will you pray with me? Oh God, hear our prayers of concern and hope lifted up to you. Some we have shared aloud, others we offer in our hearts. Hear our prayers. And if everyone would unmute, now we'll pray together using the words that the Lord taught us saying, Our Father, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be Lord, thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy will, thy will be done on earth, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this, give us this day, day our daily bread, and, and, forgive, and forgive us, us our sins, as we forgive, as we forgive those who sin against, sin us. against us. Lead us not, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from, from, evil. from evil. For thine, For thine is the kingdom, the power, the power, the power and the glory forever. Glory forever. Amen. 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 Now I would ask everyone to mute, but we are going to uh, be able to sing along with Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies, a perfect song for uh, Independence Day. So sing your hearts out, but you can mute yourself. <laughs>
I have to thank Sandy for all this technical wizardry she has. You know, she is changing screens back and forth, um, working really hard. And I don't know if there's anyone else in this group that could do such a good job. So thank you, Sandy, very much. Yeah. Um, and now Sue and Wendy are going to lead us in scripture and reflection. In celebration of Independence Day, we'd like to share holy and civic text with you. A reading from Psalm chapter 119, verse 45. I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. And from the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me, has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor, sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. A quote from the Bill of Rights. Religion, the free exercise, freedom of speech or of the press, people peaceably to assemble, well-regulated militia, people to be secure in their persons, due process of law, nor cruel and unusual punishments, the enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed or deny or disparage others retained by the people. Jeremiah chapter 34, verse 15. Recently, you repented and did what is right in my sight. Each of you proclaimed freedom to your own people. A quote from Frederick Douglass on an address July 5th. Fellow citizens, the signers of the Declaration of the Independence were brave men great enough to give fame to a great age. They were statesmen, patriots, and heroes. And for the good they did, the principles that they contended for, I will unite with you to honor their memory. Fellow citizens, pardon me. Excuse me. Um, They were statesmen, patriots, and heroes, and for the good they did, the principles they contended for, I will unite with you to honor their memory. Fellow citizens, pardon me. What have I, or those I represent, to do with your national independence? Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice extended to us? Um, Galatians, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Another quote by Frederick Douglass, the blessings in which you this day rejoice are not enjoyed, are not enjoyed in common. The rich inheritance of justice, liberty, Prosperity and independence bequeathed by our fathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought light and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. This 4th of July is yours, not mine. You may rejoice, I must mourn. A reading from Luke chapter four, verses 17 through 21. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, Jesus of Nazareth. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. 
he has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovers of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Corinthians chapter seven, verse 21 to 22. Were you a slave when you were called? Don't let it trouble you. Although if you can gain your freedom, do so. The one who was a slave when called to faith in the Lord is the Lord's freed person. Similarly, the one who was free when called is Christ's slave. A quote from the Emancipation Proclamation by Abraham Lincoln. All persons held as slaves shall be forever free. 13th Amendment of the Constitution. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, shall exist within the United States. Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 to 14. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not do not use your freedom to indulge. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. Quote from New Colossus by Emma Lazarus. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free the wretched refuge of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp inside the golden door. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 12. In him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Susan B. Anthony, in her dress of July 4th, our faith is firm and unwavering in the broad principles of human rights proclaimed in 1776, not only as abstract truth, but as the cornerstones of a republic. Yet, even in this glad hour, while all men have been invested with the full rights of citizenship, women suffer disfranchisement. Quote, 19th Amendment of the Constitution, the rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged on account of sex. A reading from James chapter 12, verse 12, speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. American Dream by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This will be the day when all of the chosen black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God almighty, we are free at last. Civil Rights Act. Vote full and equal enjoyment of any place of public accommodation without discrimination or segregation on the ground of race, color, religion, or national origin, equal protection under the law, equal education opportunities. Reading from Romans chapter eight, verses 20 through 22. For the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself 
will be liberated from its bondage and brought into the freedom and glory, the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. A ruling from the Supreme Court, the generations that wrote and ratified the Bill of Rights and the 14th Amendment did not presume to know the extent of freedom in all of its dimensions. And so they entrusted to future generations a charter protecting the right of all persons to enjoy liberty as we learn its meaning. When new insight reveals discord, a claim to liberty must be addressed. A reading from John chapter 8, verse 36. So, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Again, by Frederick Douglass. I therefore leave off where I began, with hope, while drawing encouragement from the Declaration of Independence, the great principles it contains, the genius of American institution. My spirit is also cheered by the obvious tendencies of the age. An address by Frederick Douglass on July 5th. Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice embodied in that Declaration of Independence extended to us? A quotation by Toni Morrison. The function of freedom is to free someone else. And lastly, a reading from Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 29. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female for all are one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham and Sarah's seed and heirs according to the promise. Thank you very much, Sue and Wendy. That was really inspiring. Um, now we have what we hope will be an, an inspiring um, piece of music. The choir worked this spring on um, a piece for, just for the 4th of July. And if Billy Carlton is here and wants to unmute, Billy, our choir director is going to introduce this. Good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. Uh, this morning, the choir will be presenting our performance of Marty Park's uh, Freedom. Fun little fact about this song, this is actually a part of a 30 minute long five actor musical. Um, this is the opening number to the musical and thought that this would be a fun and uplifting piece for the 4th of July. Enjoy. Thank you, Billy. Freedom, hear the sound of freedom. Freedom, hear the sound of freedom. Freedom, hear the sound of freedom. Freedom, hear the sound of Let's 
the first time the choir has uh, seen this so yeah you, you can feel free to clap i thought that was that, that was very that was nice. great <laughs> and i believe thanks many thanks to chris doctor for the video that accompanies it that is always a, a really special piece to any of these uh, these songs the choir got to hear the music last night but we didn't see the video till just this moment so um that was that was great <laughs> a perfect a perfect song to follow the reflection that we had today now, as we always do, we remind you of your um, participation in this faith community, whether you're a member or a friend of the church. It takes many of us to um, keep all the facets of the church running, going. While Gail has been away, it makes us really realize how much she does for us when she's here. And uh, we hope she's had a little rest break, but it's, um, it's been quite a cooper cooperative time for these two weeks. So I do ask you to remember this church in your giving um, for helping the church itself, our community, our country, and the world. We reach out in many ways, and we all have talents and gifts that we can offer. So you're welcome to mail your gift in to the church, or you can donate online at jxncc.org. Thank you. Today is a communion Sunday, as I mentioned at the outset. So the three of us deacons will um, work with you. We are all the body of Christ. Um, communion is a sharing. It's a meal for us all to share. And so although our pastor's not here, we feel as though this is an appropriate thing for a community of faith such as ours to share together on our first Sunday of the month. If you haven't gotten your bread and beverage or your cracker and beverage, feel free to do that right now. Friends, all are welcome to this gathering where love is broken open, mercy is poured out, and all hearts and lives are blessed. Please prepare your cup and plate with the elements you are using for communion this morning. Then join me in the prayer of confession, which you will see on your screen. Loving God, you invite us to participate in the most liberating of acts, to unburden our hearts and minds to you, to surrender our lives to you. We confess that too often use, we use our liberty to turn away from the people and places to which holistic love leads us. Yes. We forget the privilege of choice, the responsibility of freedom, mm -hmm. that we are guardians of a dream and gardeners nurturing a sustainable environment where such hopes may thrive. We hesitate to do what needs to be done, to see what needs to be seen, to say what ought to be said. 
we, we act and choose in ways that move us away from relationship to you, that interrupt healthy and renewing connection to your people, planet, and presence. Today, may your spirit break the bonds that hold us back, release us to meet you on the way, and to follow where you would guide us. Hear us, O God, and forgive the ways we have remained imprisoned. Set us free to belong to your kingdom. Amen. Amen. And as always, God pardons us. Brothers and sisters, God revives you. The spirit releases you and Christ redeems you. You are forgiven. Wendy. God be with you. So with you. Feel free to unmute everybody. Yeah. Lift up your hearts. We, we, lift, we them lift them to the sky. The Let us give thanks to God most high. It is, it is right, right to give, to give thanks, thanks, thanks and, praise. and praise. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto you, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we loud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God Almighty. Almighty. Early, Early in the morning, morning, morning our song, our song shall rise, rise to thee. thee. Holy, 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 merciful and, and mighty. mighty. God, in, in three, three persons, persons blessed, blessed, blessed Trinity. Trinity. Brothers and sisters. I'm unmuted. Okay. Sorry about that. Brothers and sisters, Christ freed us by giving his own life and rising again. On that final night, when he gathered with friends, he broke holy bread of Passover and asked them to remember not just their past, but also the meaning and ministry of his own life when they next gathered. Today, we also ask to remember and be renewed by this sacrament we share together. Brothers and sisters, take, eat, and do so in remembrance of the one whose love broken open frees you. Brothers and sisters, Christ liberated us with an act of love that overturned death itself. On that final night, when he gathered with friends, he poured out the fruit of the vine and asked his closest companions to remember not just their deliverance from slavery in Egypt as they observed Passover, but also being released from spiritual oppression during their own time when they next gathered. Today, we are also asked to remember and be redeemed by this sacrament we share together. Brothers and sisters, take, drink, and do so in remembrance of the one whose love poured out liberates you. Please unmute. We are not alone. God made us. We are not, we are not alone. We have, each, we have each other. Can anything separate us from the love of Christ? Can trouble, trouble pain, 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 persecution. persecution? No. In all these things, we win an overwhelming victory through the ones who loves for us has been proven. 
neither death, neither neither death, death or life, nor neither life. Neither messenger of heaven, neither heaven, 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 ruler on earth, ruler on what earth. happens today, neither what happens today, nor what happens tomorrow, from on high, neither power from on high, nor power from below, anything else, nor anything else, has power to separate us from the love of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Now, as a the final piece of our service, um, we are going to have the benediction. You are free to uh, sing out loud, but I'd, I would suggest that you mute and sing it from your heart as loud as you want to at home. When that is over, we'll have a brief postlude that Sandy will uh, be posting from her station, and then there will be time to chat. Since the whole service is virtual today, we'd love to chat with everybody for a few minutes, um, probably about five minutes of chat after the postlude. So. Thank you all. Um, happy 4th of July. I hope that you have sun where you are living. because We don't have much sun here, but please join me for the benediction. Sorry, give me one minute. Thank you. Sandy is uploading our postlude on that massive screen. <laughs>